thought we competed at the level we needed to compete at. Um, the second half, we had a few slip-ups. Um, you can give all the excuses you want. We didn't run our systems quite to the level we needed to. Um, we gave up some offensive rebounds. Um, we got rejected in some ball screens. We laid on some hedges. Um, some things that were keeping Northern from doing what they wanted to do. We didn't execute that quite as well. Um, we were fighting hard enough to, to kind of stay in there. and. We just struggled to, to generate a basket down the stretch, and some of that is with with a lot of young guys, with a lot of guys that we don't have that go-to player per se that uh, it changes every night. Um, that type of thing. We tried to go inside a little bit, that didn't work. Um, we tried a lot of different things to generate baskets, and we weren't able to down the stretch. And in big games like that, um, you can only get so many stops. You, you have to be able to, to get a basket, and we had a hard time doing that. In, uh, crunch time. How much did it hurt that Marcus hits a three early and then isn't able to hit another one the rest of the game? I mean, obviously, we, we think really highly of Marcus and we got him a couple looks and want him to keep shooting. He's a good shooter. He gets in the gym on his own. Um, yeah, it's somebody we're relying on. We're, we're trying to, he, he draws a lot of attention and obviously we're a better team when he's making shots. And as his career goes on, he's going to hit a ton of big shots for us. And tonight wasn't one of those nights. How exciting for the group was it in the first half to be you know, attacking the basket where the football team is right there and they're getting into it and you're able to kind of build on the excitement within the building in, at, in those moments? Yeah, it was a terrific atmosphere today. It's been awesome the last two Saturdays with the football team coming in and, and building that student section. And um, We really appreciate it. I mean, our guys love going to their games. It's, it's, it's just awesome having that with them helping out the band and the community today. It was, it was a fun basketball game to be a part of. Um, it was a good atmosphere. and. If you couldn't get excited to play today, then you got some issues. Was it a sense of relief beforehand, knowing that you already were in the playoffs before you had to play this game? Um, I, I've thought every which way about that. Um, and you worry about it, obviously, with some young guys that don't know that much about the rivalry. I mean, for me, it, it made zero difference in the guys that have been around this rivalry. Um, if, if you're not going to play as hard as you can against Northern Michigan, respect that rivalry and compete. I mean, we can both be 0 20, we can both be 20 and 0, and that, that game should be a battle, and the stakes are high no matter what with, with the rivalry. How tough is it to uh, defend a kid like 25 that just seems to find ways to get to the basket consistently? I mean, obviously, he's, he's super athletic, and um, I mean, the biggest thing we got to do is, is keep him off the glass. Um, he does a very nice job playing off of Bjorkland, who will probably be player of the year in the league. That helps a little bit too when you have a guy of, of Max's magnitude that draws so much attention that it opens up some lanes um, for everybody else. And obviously, several of those players stepped up big. I mean, Weisbrod and, and Keel are two really, really good players um, that, that complement Bjorkman really well. Uh, for you, in, in the, late in the second half, when you were struggling to find baskets, Dan did get a little bit hot there and made a few. Uh, how nice is it to see him kind of be able to find a, uh, an extra gear and turn it on, you know, at a time where nobody else could? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously athletic enough to get to the rim, and some of the, the biggest things for him are going to be if we can, and it's not something we can fix now, and we're doing the best we can. He, he puts 10 pounds of muscle on and can get to the rim. He's going to be a real problem for the league. Um, nobody's going to be able to. It's going to take a lot to stop him when he has the strength to get all the way to the basket and play through that contact. I mean, it's the same thing with Marcus. It's the same thing with Norgard. A lot of these guys um, that, that need some strength will, will really help him. But Dan was, he was really good. I mean, he was aggressive. Um, it's the same type of thing. We're asking Marcus and Dan to do a lot on the defensive end. We're asking him to do a lot. And sometimes that gets in your legs and, and shows on the, the three-point percentage. Uh, you still have a playoff game to play. Uh, what's it going to take for this group to have success on the road here in the playoffs? I mean, we need to compete like we did tonight. We need to execute the systems. We need to stay. We need to get in a, a little bit more of a possession game. We're not going to get in any shootouts with the teams we play. Um, and honestly, it's it's March. I mean, we need to get hot. Um, I think we we have better three point shooters um, than our percentages show and we really haven't gone nuts shooting it this year and you know what it'd be nice if we can go on the tournament and, and get hot from three.
I think that would be our best recipe to win, defend hard and, and get hot shooting, but um, that's yet to be seen. We'll go down there and go down and go down fighting. Thanks, Coach.